And at number 10, Josh Duggar. This year, Josh Duggar was found guilty and will be sentenced to jail for his heinous crimes. And not only is his career gone, but his entire family has turned their back on him, rightfully so. As of now, he's not been given a sentence, but he's facing up to 40 years in prison. The former reality TV star, known as a sibling on the show 19 Kids and Counting, was sentenced and will be charged in Arkansas. I can't exactly tell you what his charges are because they are truly that terrible, but he was charged with receiving and possessing illegal content of minors. After the guilty verdict, Duggar's lawyer said that they intend to appeal it, which I hope does not get accepted. Duggar has since been taken into custody, but his sentence has not been determined. Since the guilty verdict, Josh's sister, Jana Duggar, has also been arrested on similar charges. And at number 9, Gary Busey. Gary Busey was exposed this year for being in financial ruin. He's essentially bankrupt and owes the government thousands of dollars in unpaid taxes. Thankfully, his legal battle has determined that he will not have to pay creditors that have been pushing him for payment, which amounted to roughly $57,000. He also got to keep $26,000 worth of assets. However, Busey will still have to pay the roughly $450,000 that he owes to state and federal taxes, as they are not taken away in bankruptcy cases. Busey told TMZ about going broke, quote, When you have too much, it's a good feeling to let go. My new hobby is just breaking even. And at number 8, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's career is on the verge of being over, after he accidentally shot two people on the set of the movie Rust, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Following the tragedy, the movie has been trying to piece together what exactly happened to cause this to occur. Blame has been placed on the assistant director, along with the armorer, but it seems that the set was full of safety concerns almost as soon as it started. And it was later discovered that other cast and crew members walked off the set before the shooting because of safety issues. As of now, the movie itself and Alec Baldwin are being sued by a number of parties. It's difficult to say how at fault he was in the situation, but at the end of the day, he is the one that fired the bullet. Until things are sorted out, he should not work on another project again. Although now he is claiming that he didn't even pull the trigger, which some people are debating. And at number 7, R. Kelly. I've avoided talking about R. Kelly for as long as possible on the channel because his crimes are so terrible, they're hard to talk about. But after years of being in court battles on September 27th of 2021, R. Kelly was officially found guilty on 9 charges, including charges of kidnapping, bribery, and many counts of exploitation. Kelly will remain in custody pending sentencing, which was set for May 4th of 2022. For decades, people have been coming forward against the rapper and his incredibly problematic behavior, especially towards women. Some even claim he ran a cult, where other men along with Kelly would take advantage of women in a vulnerable state. As of now, he's facing decades behind bars and is entirely blacklisted from the industry. And at number 6, Erica Jane. Erica Jane truly had it all. She was filthy rich, had a loving husband, and a phenomenal career as a real housewife. But that all came crumbling down this year when she filed for divorce from her husband, and it was exposed that her entire life was basically a fraud. Erica's husband was all star attorney Tom Girardi, known from the Aaron Brockovich case. But then police and lawyers got involved, and it was exposed that Tom was a fraud and achieved their lavish lifestyle from stealing from his clients. The fact that Tom represented orphans and widows made things even worse, as he was stealing from people that really needed the money. Erica is now being sued left, right, and center, and she might even be facing jail time. She spent the entire season of the show fielding accusations about her involvement, but over time, the fans and fellow cast members have turned on her. As of now, she's basically alone, fighting off lawsuits and criticism on the internet, and the fans of the show have definitely turned on her after the last reunion. Halfway number 5, Travis Scott. Following the tragic Astor World Festival, it will be shocking if Travis Scott continues to have a career. At first, it looked like Kylie Jenner might be leaving him following the incident, however, she's apparently standing by him ahead of their second child's birth. But fans are speculating this could be all for show, and Kylie just might leave him after the birth. It's clear that Travis is taking no responsibility for the festival that took the lives of 10 concert goers and injured hundreds of others. As he recently said he was not responsible whatsoever in his interview with Charlemagne and claimed that he didn't know of any Think that was happening. As of now, Travis is looking at billions of dollars worth of lawsuits, so at the very least he will be going broke following the tragedy. After the festival, fans realized this problematic behavior was not a one-off, and Travis had encouraged rowdy and dangerous behavior multiple times in the past. This has caused a lot of longtime fans to turn on him. And at number 4, Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett was best known for his role on Empire at the time of his scandal, although he wasn't a household name. But his fame exploded to new heights when he alleged that two white men who were wearing mega hats attacked him, shouting racist and homophobic slurs. The whole world supported him and he became somewhat of a figure against racial hate. 
until it was revealed that it was all a lie and he actually paid two men to attack him. After he was exposed, he was served several lawsuits from the city themselves for faking a police report and wasting the city's time. On February 11th of 2020, Smollett was charged by a Cook County grand jury on six counts pertaining to making four false police reports. And he was of course blacklisted from the industry. He was just found guilty of his crimes and will be serving time behind bars. So his career and everything he's worked for is now gone over a stupid lie. In at number 3, Jen Shaw. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City just seems to be getting better and better, and the drama with cast member Jen Shaw is not going anywhere anytime soon. Weeks ago we saw Jen get arrested during the show, now we get to see Jen fighting for her freedom. Shaw was arrested by the feds on March 30th of 2021 for allegedly ripping off elderly people in a telemarketing scam. She's facing charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering with a max sentence of 30 years in prison if found guilty. Initially it seemed that Jen was tipped off that the cops were coming for her and that's why she suddenly left the planned trip. But now she's claimed that she's completely innocent and the cops have gone after her for no reason. But the cops just don't choose someone to investigate for months and then arrest in a sting operation, so clearly they have some serious dirt on her that might put her behind bars. And at number 2, Chris Harrison. Before his huge scandal, Chris Harrison was known as the legendary host of the Bachelor franchise. But he was caught up in a major scandal in 2021 after contestant Rachel Carconnell was exposed for racially insensitive actions. In the midst of this, Harrison took part in an interview with fellow Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay where he spoke about the scandal. During that interview, Harrison was very aggressive towards Rachel Lindsay and defended Carconnell for seemingly no reason. One of Harrison's controversial statements included, quote, I've heard a lot of, I think she should, I think he should, who the hell are you? Who are you to demand that? People found his comments to be insensitive and many said he was too quick to defend a contestant accused of racist actions. Chris ended up apologizing but was later cut entirely from the franchise, which was a huge deal to the Bachelor fans. And finally at number 1, Zayn Malik. Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid were one of the hottest couples in Hollywood during their on and off again relationship. The pair even had a child together named Kai. But that was all taken away from him after reports that he got physical with his mother-in-law Yolanda Hadid. According to an insider, quote, Gigi and Zayn had a very destructive relationship when they were together romantically. According to a lawsuit, Zayn, quote, shoved Yolanda into a dresser causing mental anguish and physical pain after calling Yolanda, quote, effing Dutch slut. At the time of the altercation, Gigi was not home, but she came back immediately from Paris Fashion Week to deal with the situation. Zayn pled no contest to the charges, but later said a statement that he adamantly denied Yolanda's claims. The pair have now split for good and are fighting for custody of their daughter, along with Zayn and Yolanda fighting in lawsuits. In at number 10, Fetty Wap. This year, Fetty Wap was busted by the cops for illegal activity and he is currently facing serious jail time. In October of 2021, Fetty Wap was arrested for allegedly running a bi coastal opioid operation out of Long Island. He was arrested right before he was set to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival, but obviously had to cancel due to his sudden arrest. The feds say that he was, quote, a kill level dealer in the operation. FBI Assistant Director Michael Driscoll said about the bust, quote, The fact that we arrested a chart-topping rap artist and a corrections officer as a part of the crimes illustrates just how vile the trade has become. Fetty Wap, along with five others, allegedly handled more than 100 kilos of substances and mainly sold them in New Jersey and across Long Island. The ring was allegedly a multi-million dollar operation between June of 2019 and June of 2020, according to law enforcement. And since they consider him to be one of the ringleaders, he is facing a minimum of 10 years in prison. And at number 9, Jamie Spears. Jamie Spears, aka Britney Spears' father, was in control of her life and money for the last 13 years while she was under conservatorship. Thankfully, in 2020, she started to fight for her freedom in court and was able to hire her own lawyers to defend her rights. Throughout the trial, we learned that Jamie had imposed intense restrictions on Britney. She was not able to get engaged or have a child without his permission. She also wasn't able to drive in her boyfriend's car without supervision. We also learned he had most likely been stealing money from her estate, along with making her work more than she had ever worked in her career. Thankfully, the judge has taken Jamie off the conservatorship and Britney is now able to live free. But as of now, he's one of the most hated people in the world, especially to Britney Spears fans. And at number 8, Tristan Thompson. It feels like there's no such thing as a year without Tristan Thompson cheating on Khloe Kardashian. And sadly, 2021 was no different. We learned about the cheating after a woman named Marilee Nichols filed a paternity lawsuit for her newborn son. Nichols at first did not share any details, but after Thompson started attacking her online and in the press, she gave the 
the full story of their relationship. She claimed that while she was in California, she met Tristan at a party at his home in 2020. Then in March of 2021, they slept together on his birthday, along with having a relationship for months afterwards. And sadly, Chloe and Tristan were together at the time, and he's admitted to cheating with Nichols. From the statements that have been given, it seems likely that Nichols will win the suit, and Thompson will have three children with three different women. Thompson first admitted to cheating, but denied the child was his, but the paternity results are now in, and he is the father as Maury would say. <laughs> In at number seven, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen is one of the most controversial figures on social media, so it's not surprising that she got a massive scandal in 2021. It seems that Chrissy is more than just a troll on social media, and she can actually be quite a bully. She bullied many celebrities over the years, like Courtney Stodden and Avril Lavigne, even coming after children at some points. Her main target seemed to be Courtney Stodden, though, who spoke against Teigen and her harassment many times. All the unearthed tweets were incredibly disgusting and made the entire internet turn on Chrissy. Chrissy decided to leave the internet following all the backlash to reflect on her words and actions, but the time she took away only turned out to be a measly 23 days. Her return to the internet was not taken well, and many of her fans have stopped supporting her as a result. She also lost tons of sponsorships and brand deals, and I don't think they will be returning anytime soon. And at number six, Chris Cuomo. CNN's Chris Cuomo has officially been fired from his network after an investigation covered the anchor helped his brother disgrace Governor Andrew Cuomo during his scandal. Andrew Cuomo's crimes include government corruption and sexual misconduct. Earlier, they announced he was going to be suspended, barring the results of this investigation. Partway through, they had uncovered enough evidence to fire him. CNN writes, quote, While in the process of that review, additional information has come to light. Despite the termination, we will investigate as appropriate. This all comes on the heels of an investigation by the New York Attorney General's office, which suggested that he was heavily involved in his brother's scandal. Following his termination, reports are coming out that Chris was also accused of sexual harassment. That's a part of the reason for his termination. So it's clear that no network will want to touch him again. Halfway number five, Dr. Seuss. Even though Dr. Seuss passed away in 1991, his reputation was tarnished after he was cancelled early in 2021. Following this scandal, Dr. Seuss Enterprises has made the decision to strip six books from its catalog. In a statement, they said, quote, Seizing sales of these books is only a part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalog represents and supports all communities and families. The books that are being axed are, and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, McElliot's Pool, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, and The Cat Quizzer. The decision came in part after a 2019 study found that out of 50 books by Dr. Seuss, 43 out of 45 characters of color have quote characteristics aligning with the definition of Orientalism, or the stereotypical offensive portrayal of Asia, as well as the African characters having anti-black characteristics. In at number four, Jamie Lynn Spears. After we learned that Britney Spears had been controlled by her father for the last 13 years without anyone knowing, fans looked to her sister Jamie Lynn Spears, wondering why Jamie Lynn never spoke up publicly in support of her sister for the free Britney movement gained traction. Things were made worse when Britney called up Jamie Lynn directly on her Instagram, making it clear that Jamie Lynn did not support her in her battle against her father. Britney wrote in one caption, quote, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservatorship killed my dreams. Jamie Lynn responded to the hate on her own Instagram, saying that she supported her sister behind the scenes way before the Free Britney movement was created. But that has not stopped the hate train. In at number three, Army Hammer. Army Hammer was on the rise in Hollywood and looked like the next big star. But that all changed when he was accused of inappropriate sexual conduct with a number of women. One woman claimed that during their four year relationship, Hammer was mentally, emotionally, and physically harmful. Because of the scandal, Hammer dropped out of the Jennifer Lopez rom com Shotgun Wedding. He was also investigated by the government for these illegal actions. Following the scandal, he decided to check himself into rehab in 2021 to confront his harmful behavior and addictions. He recently left that facility, and a source told The Sun, quote, Army is out of the treatment facility where he spent almost nine months. He's doing really well and it's wonderful news for his family. He's back in the Cayman Islands. Although he's out of rehab, he is still being investigated by the government and there's a high chance he will be going to prison. In at number two, DaBaby. DaBaby was more or less blacklisted from the music business after he went on a homophobic rant during his Rolling Loud set. Most notably, he made several comments about AIDS and spread harmful misinformation about the community. Following the scandal, he was dropped from sponsorship deals and other music festivals. His collaborator Dua Lipa also came out against him and condemned his statements. You should an apology on Twitter, writing, quote, anybody who has ever been affected by HIV AIDS, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions of offending anybody. So my apologies. But the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. You do you. Your business is your business. People didn't take that as a true apology, and because of that statement, he has remained cancelled. And finally, number one, Chris Knopf. After the release of the new Sex and the City reboot called And Just Like That, actor Chris Knopf has been accused of 
sexual crimes against multiple women. These women, who remained anonymous, said the events happened in 2004 and 2015. And often these women had sexual relations. One was entirely not consensual, and the other happened after coercion, which is still not consensual. After the allegations became public, Peloton decided to pull their ad featuring the actor. Both women told The Hollywood Reporter that Noss' return to the Sex and City franchise had triggered memories of their experiences with him years ago. Neither encounter was reported to police at that time. The three leading women on Sex and the City have now issued a statement supporting the women that have come out against Noss. He has also been fired from the show The Equalizer with Queen Latifah. In at number 10, Spencer and Heidi Pratt. The Hill stars have gone bankrupt not once, but twice, and the second time was in 2021. The couple says they went broke after lockdowns killed their crystal business. At the time, they were spending insane amounts of money on wine. The business was called Pratt Daddy Crystals, which sells jewelry and wellness products. Business was great before the pandemic, but after the business flatlined. The couple showcased the downfall of their business on season two of The Hills. The couple, who were once worth an estimated $10 million, had to consult a financial advisor to help them sort out their money. To put the nail in the coffin, the pair spent all their money on expensive wine to deal with the pandemic. Spencer said, quote, One of our biggest expenses was our wine budget, which grew exponentially during lockdown for a year when there's nothing to do but, you know, try new wines. And, you know, white, red, champagne, sparkling, you know, there's a lot of different options. The pair are now struggling to stabilize their finances. And in number nine, Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes was at one point the most exciting female entrepreneur, completely reinventing the way that we find illness in the blood. She started the company Theranos in 2003 at the age of 19, then dropped out of Stanford to pursue it full time. Theranos claimed it had invented technology that could test for a range of conditions using just a few drops of blood taken from a finger prick, which is far better than the current system. Theranos raised $945 million from an impressive list of investors, including media mogul Rupert Murdoch and the Walmart's Walton family. However, it was later determined that she was a fraud and she was actually just using the traditional blood machines to get the results because her machines did not work. Last month, Elizabeth Holmes was found guilty on four charges of defrauding investors. She's guilty in one count of conspiracy to defraud investors, as well as three wire fraud counts tied up to specific investors. Holmes faces up to 20 years in prison, as well as a fine of $250,000, plus restitution for each count. And at number eight, Randall Emmett. Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent and her fiance, movie producer Randall Emmett, have officially split. It seems like 2021 has been a terrible year in general for Randall. Randall and Lala welcomed their baby girl Ocean earlier this year, so it started off great. The pair were even engaged and planning their wedding. But then photos leaked of Randall in Nashville letting two mystery women into his hotel room. Sources report that after that incident, Lala left their home and moved into a hotel. Shortly after, the pair officially split. Now Lala is exposing tons of shady stuff about him on her reality TV show. But that's not all. Randall is actually the producer behind Megan Fox and MGK's movie, Midnight in the Switchgrass. That movie did not go off without a hitch, and it was reported the couple did not attend the premiere of their own movie because they were feuding with production, including Randall. Yikes. And at number seven, Shia LaBeouf. FKA Twig's real name Talia Barnett exposed in 2021 that she endured a toxic and harmful relationship with Shia LaBeouf. She later decided to sue him for his harmful and manipulative actions, unearthing tons of stories where LaBeouf was toxic, reckless, and even put her life in danger. Apparently, he was so controlling she wasn't able to look other men in the eye or he would get angry. She eventually got the courage to leave and is now hoping she gets justice for the terrible treatment that he put her through. The two parties are currently trying to settle their differences without a trial, but if not, will be set for some time in 2023. There have been no major updates in the case as of now, but singer Sia came forward during this time and revealed that Shia coerced her into an adulterous relationship with him. So clearly he has a history of mistreatment that must be resolved before he works in the spotlight again. And at number six, Ellen DeGeneres. Last year, Ellen went through one of the biggest scandals of all time when it was exposed that she was not the nice, friendly dancing lady that we see on screen. And behind the scenes, she was incredibly mean. Ellen's fall from niceness all started when Kevin T. Porter tweeted out that Ellen was notoriously one of the meanest people alive. And the replies of the tweet shared tons of negative interactions that people had with Ellen over the years. This sparked a whole wave of exposing not only of Ellen, but her show as well. Then it was revealed that her show also had a toxic work environment and her staff were verbally berated constantly. There were even reports of inappropriate conduct by high level producers of the show, which resulted in a number of the top execs getting fired. As of now, Ellen is set to end her long reign on daytime TV after this season is finished. 
and her reputation and career are finished as well. Halfway number five, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle had an interesting year. He's either canceled or a free speech hero, depending on who you ask. But one thing everyone can agree on is the fact that he got in tons of hot water this year for his controversial comedy special, The Closer. The special was deemed transphobic by many viewers, and it generated so much backlash that LGBT employees of Netflix started to walk out over the harmful rhetoric. In response, Chappelle stated in an Instagram clip that he would meet with transgender employees. However, he won't be, quote, bending to anyone's demands, adding, quote, if you want to meet with me, I am more than willing to, but I have some conditions. First of all, you can't come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. As of now, he's still selling out wherever he chooses to perform, but he stated he's been blacklisted from all other streaming sites but Netflix. In at number four, Marilyn Manson. Actress Evan Rachel Wood posted to her Instagram on February 1st, exposing she had been mistreated by Marilyn Manson. In a long statement, she said that he started engaging with her while she was only a teen, and she was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. She then claimed that she did not want to live in fear, and she wants to expose him before he does more harm, concluding, quote, I stand with the many women who will no longer be silent. Wood met Manson when she was 18 and he was 36 back in 2007. They later got engaged in 2010 for eight months until the relationship ended. This statement on Instagram came as four other women came forward with similar allegations against Manson. Manson has denied these allegations, but he's still been blacklisted until these legal matters are sorted out. In at number three, Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell just finished her explosive trial and was found guilty on four of the five charges that were brought against her. Maxwell was of course a close confidant of disgraced billionaire Epstein, who was exposed for his heinous crimes in 2020. Maxwell was implicated by many of his accusers during his trial, and those same witnesses were used against Maxwell. Maxwell pled not guilty to all of the charges even though tons of evidence mounted against her. The jury, made up of six men and six women, reached the verdict last month, and she now faces up to 65 years in prison and will be sentenced shortly. Her defense sought to undermine the accuser's memories and motivations during cross-examination. Maxwell's team also argued that she was the scapegoat for prosecutors because Epstein died before he could stand trial. In at number two, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato made headlines when they tried to cancel a local LA frozen yogurt shop called The Big Chill. While Demi was visiting, they noticed that there were a lot of treat options that they deemed diet foods, like sugar-free cookies. Demi then decided to publicly call out the shop on Instagram where Demi is close to 100 million followers. Demi wrote that they had a terrible experience at the shop and even called the shop diet culture vultures. The Big Chill then clapped back that the different items were to suit dietary restrictions, saying, quote, we carry items for diabetics, celiac disease, vegan, and of course have many indulgent items as well. Demi then got backlash for not considering other dietary needs and making everything about themselves because diabetics require sugar-free options. Demi apologized, but it's still a huge stain on their reputation. And finally, number one, Mike Richards. After the passing of legendary Jeopardy host Alex Trebek, the show has been doing everything possible to fill his shoes, which is an incredibly difficult task. Mike Richards was one of the people put up for the role. Richards was an executive producer on the show at the time of Trebek's passing. After making it through the round, Richards was officially announced as the show's next host. However, shortly after that, sexist comments that he made on a podcast eight years earlier resurfaced and he was forced to resign from the coveted role. He said in a statement, quote, It is humbling to confront a terribly embarrassing moment of misjudgment, thoughtlessness, and insensitivity from nearly a decade ago. Looking back now, there is no excuse, of course, for the comments I made on this podcast, and I am deeply sorry. Oh, 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 oh,